Hello, welcome back to this game. Gene Forge 3. As promised, I've got two Romas now. What does this one spot? Oh, you first. Aren't you the ones being led around by the terror of Lich? If only we could hit 75% chance to hit, guys. A guard sighted me, apparently. Is this the guard? The Wingardium. Well, it's not much now, is it? Oh dear. Deary me. Let's bugger off. They'll probably come to me now, won't they? Uh, yeah. Now I don't- oh! Now I don't want to run away anymore. Now I don't want to run away anymore. Da -da 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 -da. What? Not everything needs to be a song. Yeah, but isn't the world a better place if it is? There we go, that makes up for all the misses. Doesn't make up for my misses though. She's a right pain in the neck. What? I ain't got one. Splonk. Look at the handleability of this situation now. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that's the good stuff. Pew. Who have we got? If it's just you two, it's fine, but it probably isn't. You've probably got some artilla with you at some point. Somewhere. Yep, something. Oh no, nothing's moving. I guess they were both stunned. Wait, did the Romas also stun? Well, that's pretty cool if so. I would say. Oh, enemy is visible. Oh, okay, you spawned some back there as well. Oh, here, have some. No, don't have some more blessing, actually. There's no point. Oh, it says you're stunned. Illegal. Okay, stun only removes some AP. It doesn't completely fuck them. Ooh. See, look, look at all this experience. What is it, four loads of 32? Oh. Yeah, nice try. Four lots of 32, I believe. Instead of one lot of 40. Yeah, I'm no maths expert, but I think that ends up being more. Who next? Oh, now we've got some artillery. Yeah, some back there as well. I don't know about this one, they're plated, aren't they? Which means they're rather Berlin... Berlinstein. They're rather Berlin. Oh! Oh, nice. Nice pathfinding. Fuck's sake. Yeah, that problem is still present three games in. <laughs> Time to die. Not if you miss. Splodge. Oh no, the ones in the back are attacking now. She's about to die. Just like a burger. Unless I can heal her quickly. Which I can, but it's not enough. As you can see. Yeah, that's too much. We can't handle four artillers. Not right now, anyway. But I don't know how else I would do this. What if I do this? If I go down here and trigger it, and then... Yeah. And then run back up. Do that. Hopefully the other two haven't seen me now. Stop missing, I've done War Blessing for a reason. I swear, if any of us get toxicized, well then, it's fair, isn't it? The other ones are probably coming anyway, yeah. Never mind. 
we're not going that way yet. What's up here? Ah, uh, yes, you of course, but you're alone now. Bye then. You don't have your friends to wash your back. My friends aren't very good either though. Fuck! Yeah, go on then. I'm just dead. Basically. Let's use a... Just because I never use them. Hello, is that a Vlish tunic or whatever? A Vlish skin tunic is a tunic. Mental magic. Oh. AKA sell this item. I should make an RPG where there's an item called sell this item. Oh, not more of this. What are you going to spawn then, eh? Probably something that's too much. A couple of roamers. Probably more than that. Yes. Yes. Rabid Roma. As long as it's not raving rabbits. Can't stand those. They ruined a series that was already bad to begin with. <laughs> oh! No, I'm just talking about the first game of the series. Rayman. Hey, I just realised. Rayman. Ray. Ving Rabbids. That's pretty clever, that is. Is it? Not really. It might as well be, though. That thing should die. It did. I believe we've survived this particular encounter. There's a building up there. Oh, right, that one. Maybe I should just go and deactivate that other one. No. Because I've got so many characters. Ah, it can be crossed freely. I've got so many gosh darn characters. Methane swamps, as in fart. That I need to maximise the amount of experience I get. Because they're a drain on it. Another trouble is though, like... I think I already talked about it earlier. And probably have before anyway. In another game. But like... Since your creations also take a portion of the experience, it's inefficient when you just destroy them later on. Because, like, that's experience lost forever. Oh my god! Who's... Oh, it's a nest. Can you please hit that one? So that I can go in there and do this. Oh wow. That was amazing. An item well used. Yeah, these are easy ones anyway, by the look of it. So it was a bit of a waste. Whoa. Roma Fang. Is that any good? Probably. To someone. Dosh. Boots, just normal boots. Oh, wow. What a load of stuff. Oh, it was worth it anyway. Tree popped into existence. What's down here? Southern Marsh. Oh wait, I've been there, haven't I? I just crossed through it quickly. Trying to get to San Ru. But we're not going there. No, no. Oh, this is this place. Let's just leave this uncovered. <clears throat> I kind of want to make a note of the mines that I haven't turned off. There's one there. What's this one? I don't really know. 
If it's just roamers again, that might be okay. Stunned. Splodged. It's gotta be. Oh, hello. Sneaky worm in the back there. Hopefully you're stunned enough that you're not gonna poison me. It looks like that might be all this group is. A couple of roamers and an artiller. Oh, there's another roamer up there. It has seen us. There we go, that might be it for that group. Looks like it. Okay. What's over here? A nest, but with nobody living in it. Yum. A curing pod. Are you having a giggle? Oh, shielding band. Ten stun. Four armor. Oh, it's the same as that. Never mind then. And I will indeed take this other stuff just because. Anything else hidden in the trees? Doesn't look like it. Right, well then. Is there also a mine up here? No. This is just some friends. What are you doing back there, Greta? Another nest here. I guess. Oh, dearie me. That's alright, they're gonna be easy ones. Apparently not, though. attack. Never mind, I'm gonna load it. Let's get this one outside first, wherever it comes from. Where am I? Oh. Get rid of the roaming roamers first. What type of... What type of creature is a roamer? I don't know. Wait, I can find out. It's a... It is a fire shaping. Vlish is magic, so I'm going to want some of that eventually. Let's preemptively do that a little bit. Nah, we'll just hold on to the point. Spend it when we get it. Might as well put another point in fire shaping though. Although, don't you only get that bonus when you create the creatures? So I don't know if I want to do that. It's very silly, this game. Let's get some more essence. That just helps everyone. Yes. As in me. As in maybe I can make some more creatures one day as a result. Anyone else roaming? Doesn't seem so. I kind of want to be in there as well, actually. Why does that one get to go first? Get stunned. Oi! That didn't get rid of it. It's okay, I'm still gonna survive by the look of it. Especially now. Yawn. And... Dosh. Normal cloak. Meat. Acid thorns. How delicious is that? I don't know. Apparently they're quite good. The uh, batons. I hear the agent. I think if I remember right, I hear the agent is the best in this game. I think on my looking up of information, someone said this is the agent's game. Right, um... You know, I kind of want to know what's in that building. But I won't. We'll find out later. Let's make a note. What is this map called? I'm going to come back and do these mines one day. Later on the island. Roma Marsh. Roma Marsh. Northwest and southeast. Mines to fight. 
spawning mines to fight. Okay, where are we gonna go? Let's go up to the rebels now. Have an encounter. Here we are. Are we gonna be welcome? Bloody well better be. I worked hard getting here. Yum. Always good to have more of those. Because that's dosh and experience for me. It's basically like I'm picking up a little pack of money and experience. Those could be useful. Now that I'm liking using some items. Wait, does it do it on a group though? Thrown at an enemy. That also says thrown at an enemy though. So you have to use them to find out if they work on a group or not. Well done, Jeff. You could have added that to the description. Maybe he did and I'm blind. As in not paying enough attention. What is that? Oh, it's wiry moss. I'll take it. Right, go on then. Give me an introduction. Uh-oh. Stop! You may not enter, or whatever he said. Well, clearly I can. Zin. There is a uh, there is a lone man standing out here in front of the rebel camp. He's standing proud, doing a good job of hiding how terrified he is of you. He wears rusty armor and wields a dented sword. If this is the rebel's champion... Well, who says it's a champion? He's just a guard. They are not in good shape. He says to you, Shaper, I am Zin. I ask you to leave us and leave us be. We are weak, but our cause is just, and if you will not turn back, I will give my life to keep you from killing my friends. I wish to enter and speak with your leader. You try to convince Zin to let you by. Fortunately, your commanding presence, combined with his terror, causes resolve to crumble quickly. Ha! Oh, I'm so powerful in the brain department. All right, Shaper, but we will all be watching you. You may enter the front half of the fort, but stay out of the back half. He unlocks the front gate for you. It was already unlocked. There's something I would like to know. Zin says, then go through the door and talk to Lankan. He speaks for us. I am just guarding the door. So much for being a champion. He's got bugger all health as well. Hello? Who are you? You step into the rebel encampment for the first time. It used to be an herb gatherer settlement, complete with quarters, dining hall, drying sheds. Oh, I bet I can get lots of herbs in there to sell. And merchants. It was abandoned when the rogues came. Then the rebels moved in. The people here look utterly terrified, yet they don't seem to be reaching for their weapons or preparing to defend themselves. No doubt since their tiny insurrection began, they expected the shapers to come and utterly destroy them. This is a reasonable expectation. The shapers tend to be merciless when their authority is questioned. Look how good I can read sometimes. Why can't it always be like this? It was like swift and precise. Greta shakes her head and looks around sadly. She looks at the rebels torn. <coughs> Weird bit in my throat. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> the rebels torn clothes and dented weapons. She says, I don't think any of these people have had a good meal in weeks. In sum, this so-called rebellion is a handful of hungry people, barely armed and completely unable to put up a real defence. These people must have been in a truly desperate situation to have come here like this. Who's this? Right here. Townswoman. This is one of the gatherer rebels hiding here. She's not hiding, she's wandering out in the open. Like all the others, she is tired, dirty, poorly fed, and barely armed. Oh, dirty, you say? Oh! The rebels don't have a lot of military might. None at all, in fact. Well, yeah, they do literally have some. There's a guy outside with a sword. It may not be much, but it is what it is. I don't know, maybe it doesn't count as military might. She is also justifiably terrified of you. She stammers to you. Oh, she stammers that you. Oh, there goes the reading. I was keeping up for a while. She stammers that you should speak with Lankan. You're finding this rebellion to be rather pitiful. That's alright. Easier to kill. <laughs> no, I'm joining him probably. Hello? Elephant. No, it's Elspeth actually. This used to be a small trading post for this encampment. No, this is a person. Now there's a lone woman here. Uh, sorting through the minimal supplies the rebels have access to. 
She looks like she has lived on this swampy isle for her entire life. How can you tell? Her feet are bare. Oh. And she doesn't even notice the cold or the muck. How do you know she doesn't notice? Maybe she just got used to it. There's probably a, proud, a pound of muck under her toenails. Oh, gross. I'm sure some people would be into that, though. She nods to you when you enter, but she doesn't bow. She disguises her fear well, but not perfectly. She says, Hello, I'm Elspeth. What do you want? Can I buy or sell some supplies? I'm sorry, Shaper. We are poor folk. We don't have enough of what we need. And there are a few merchants who will trade with us. There's nothing we can provide for you. Is there nothing you can sell me? Well, Shaper, there is something that was left for us to trade with Shapers. Like, why would you... why would it... I don't know. They expect to be destroyed by Shapers. Why would they have something to trade with Shapers? I guess because they have it. And that's all there is to it. I have two of these crystal jar things. Lankin says I can sell them to you, but only because things you have... The things you have said make him think you might sympathise with us. I can open the door so you can find them. Each is 300 coins. I'm going to cheese it and see which ones are worth it. Where did the canisters come from? You should talk to Lankin about that. I don't want a canister. Alright. Where are you from? I'm from Sanru. Born there, want to die there, at old age. Though that doesn't seem likely now. Why did you come out here with the rebels? Elspeth says it was Lankin. He... She sighs. Her eyes get wet at the corner. I want to be with Lankin. Help him. I wanted to be with Lankin. Help him. Who do you think... What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, the reading power is all gone. It lasted like five minutes, if that. Elspeth shakes her head. Look around, Shaper. You know you know how strong you are. You see how weak we are. You'll crush us. You'll crush poor Lankin. And nobody will ever hear of us. But we were in the right. I'm sure of that. We are in the right. Yeah, you are. Elspeth watches you nervously, ready to run at any moment. Well, I'm in the doorway, so good luck with that. Um, okay. Let me, uh, what doors are you talking about? There aren't any doors here. Somewhere else, I guess. G, G. Here's a pretty G, G. I gotta admit. Right, I'll come back. As soon as I find those doors... Are they up here? Are they over here? No, it's just a random little rocky outcropping. Can you tell me where these doors are? Did you explain? Oh, what? oh that's mine. Um, whatever. I guess I'll find the doors and then I'll come back to you. Is it these? Oh, nine, so yes, probably. What's that? Oh, it's a bloke. Damor, or Darnor. There is a man pacing out here by the west shore, watching the water for anyone. No, he's between some buildings, actually. For anyone or anything approaching. He has a sword at his belt, but you doubt he's even he's ever wielded a ba blade in his life. When you approach, he looks as he looks so terrified, you think that he's about to pass out, not piss. You ask his name, he stammers, Obdarnor. Why are you so afraid? Because, because, because a shaper is going to come and kill us. I, I don't know if you're the one. What are you looking out, looking for out here? Blanken has, uh, has me watch the water. He wants me to watch for things. What sort of things are you looking for? I'm looking for someone who, who, who might be coming back. She might, you should talk to Lankan. He might want to tell you about her. Do you know where I can get a bolt? No, I do. Someone already told me at the northwest shore or whatever. No, I'm sorry. You fucking better be. <laughs> I should kill you just for that. For being useless. Wait, all of these are supremely locked. Why so? Alright, well, some of these are probably the canister ones. Right then. Two. Elspeth gratefully takes the coins. Thank you, Shaper. These coins will be very helpful to us. Your jar is in one of the storage sheds to the north. I'll make sure it's left unlocked for you. And the other one. 
Well, I don't know which one's which though. Chachonk. What is it? Vlish. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, definitely want that one. The time has come, and so have I. Oh. Okay, not that one. And. Let me in. Terror. We don't want that. What's in the pot? Get out of the way. Get, get out of the way. That one teleported in the way. That's not worth 300. It does get me experience though, so yes it is. Never mind, I'll take both. Oh, what the hell? Only one of the doors closed. I didn't look in... Is there a pot in here? No. How much does a Vlish cost? The same as Aroma. A tasty day is ahead. I can't believe it. I only just got the Romas. Now they're being replaced already. Maybe. What's in these? Oh. Claw bug. No one cares. Probably. Maybe someone would unlock these for me anyway. Maybe Lankan has some quests. And ice spray, which maybe could be useful, but it will cost essence, so I'm not going to use it anyway. Even if I do get it. Wait, don't I already have it? In some form. No. A lance of ice, more damage than firebolt, better magic and spellcraft. It says spray, does that mean it hits multiple? Probably not. Alright, well let's keep looking around for now. Uh. Free dosh, cheers. Help me make back some of my money from the the canisters. I won't be surprised if I get enough money in this town to at least pay for one of them. Oh, I don't want to go over there. Wait, is this all the village is? Just this tiny little thing? Lankan already. One of the rebels walks out of of the crowd to face you. At first, he doesn't look any different from any of the other gatherers. He's young, tired, thin, dirty. But then you look him in the eye, and you immediately see that he is different. He has in his eyes a confidence, an energy, and devotion. That is unusual in any person, shaper or not. He is the sort of person who would not only have the suicidal courage to defy the shapers, but who is strong enough to convince others to join him in his crusade. Has he got a lot of leadership? He nods to you in greeting. Welcome to our camp, Shaper. I'm Lankan. I understand that you have come here to speak with me. I heard you wanted to talk to me, actually, I think. If I remember right. Before that, I ask that you hear our story. I hope to appeal for some other justice your... your kind claims to meet out. Well, this is going to go on beyond the time, but okay. Alright, tell me your story. I'm not sure what you have heard of us so far. I don't know if you have spoken to Duanaya or what he has told you. But you do need to know why we have hidden out here, even though I signed our death warrants. It signed our death warrants. Not long ago, the monsters appeared on this island, on several of the Ashen Isles, if not all of them. This happened here about the time your school... Oh, this happened here about the time your school was attacked a few weeks ago now. We gatherers are ordinary people. We're not heavily armed. We do not train in the ways of the sword. Your kind does not allow us to learn magic. Can I teach you and get some money for it? So when the monsters appeared, we were defenceless, but our only hope our only hope was the shapers, and that is the way it was it's supposed to be. We obey you, you protect us. That is the bargain. And what happened? Your kind failed us, Shaper. You did not hold up your end of the bargain. Don't say me, your It's them. Not me. You did not protect us from the monsters, rogues you call them. We stopped gathering losing our livelihood. But we could not only hide in our camps. After all, we still needed supplies and food, so we had to leave sometimes. We stuck to the roads and we were still not kept safe. I saw my people be attacked, wounded. I lost two friends to roamers. They ran, but not fast enough. So I went to Sanri with several of my people. I went to see Diwanaya. I told him what was happening and I asked him for his help. And... And he told us that he was not going to do so do anything. He said his strength could only protect the town, protect himself. For us, Du and I would do nothing. 
Losing my friends was too much for me. I could bear it no longer. I was weak and foolish. I lost my temper. I punched Duanaya. You punched a shaper? Yes, and then I fled, and my people came with me. And I kept fleeing, and they kept following. And now we are here. Greta says, Why did you run? Was the punishment that awaited you so severe that you could not withstand it? Well, yeah, it'd probably be death. I know that if I had let Duanaya punish me, we would not have... We would not have to flee, would not have to risk certain death at the hands of your kind, but that is no longer the point. Had I been punished and left chastised, the monsters would still be out here. They would still be hunting us and Du and I would have done nothing. We must have help. If we do not get it, we will die, one way or another, and that is why I appeal to you for justice. Do you not see some rightness in our cause? Um. Oh dear, look at these extreme choices. I've heard enough, I have justice for you. You must all be destroyed. Um, I believe your cause is just. You're right, the Shapers should have found a way to live up to our end of the bargain and assist you. I'm pleased that you think so, Shaper. I've seen more signs of sanity and justice from your kind recently than I expected. Not just from you, but from the other Shaper. Other Shaper? This was not all I wanted to tell you about. My story is not done. We met another shaper, one who did know one who did know of justice, who would dare to help us. Her name is Latalia. Tell me about Latalia. This could still go on for a bit, couldn't it? Huh? <coughs> yeah. She came to us not long after we arrived at this camp. We thought that she had come to destroy us, and we were amazed that our punishment had arrived so soon. But she came to parlay. Parlay? Damn to the depths who ever fought up Parlay. Or whatever he says. With hands out, so we spoke with her. Your heart sinks as you listen to this. Destroying your school and slaying your teachers is not the only thing Latalia has done recently. She has been very busy indeed. She came to us and said that she had heard of our plight. She said that she would help us. She seems a bit on the extreme end. Um, and did you know that Latalia was the one who created the monsters who attacked you? Lankan nods sadly. I came to suspect her, but only after she left. She was... she... Your kind is very convincing. You have an aura. I was only able to think ill of her after she was gone. But I do believe that her offer of help was genuine. What sort of help did she offer? She said that she would shape me. She would alter me. She had a way to change me, to give me powers that would help me to defeat the monsters myself. It would be a device, a crystal, a crystal canister, and if I used it, it would make me strong. So I agreed. I knew I had to take the risk, so I could help my people, but I never received the canister. We got four of them in sheds over there, just go use them. What happened to it? it took me some time to find out, but I did eventually. Armed servile couriers. Uh, were bringing it to me, but Duanaya's guards found them. Thorns ended their lives, and the canister was taken to Duanaya. Right, hopefully I can get my grubby mitts on that then. At some point, and that ends our tale. Here we are, scraping for food, fending off the monsters, and every day, oh, that every day come, come closer to our home, waiting to die. And that was all I had to say. I hope that somewhere in your heart there is a scrap of mercy left. A little bit of justice that will tell you to let my people live a bit longer. Lankin gets visibly tense, waiting to see what you will do. Well, I already gre agreed that Shapers should have been more helpful. Doesn't that give you enough confidence that I'm here to help? Or at least not kill you? Um, yeah, I mean you no harm for the moment. What do you mean for the moment? Why is this the good option? I never mean them any harm, probably. I wish to speak with you. No, I don't. I wish this speech to end. I didn't come and talk to you. You assaulted me when I had two minutes left. Lankan lets out a long sigh of relief. Thank you for your patience. Yes, I will speak with you and aid you. If I see in it a way to aid my people. Um, where is Latalia now? Uh, hang on. Can I just talk to you in a bit? I know loading it is going to reset this, but... Um... Oh, now I should go around the back again. Oh, hang on. I just wanna... 
Where is he? Where is the bastard? Whatever, we'll leave it there and I'll continue the conversation next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.